and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to show you effective self-treatments for AC joint pain. That's a chromioclavicular shoulder joint pain. This is an updated video, by the way. It is. It, we had, uh, by popular demand, this vintage video has been doing very well. But we've got some better information now, a little more complete. It's going to help you out we even get more. smarter as time goes on. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but something happened. <laughs by> the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. Always giving something away. This week, we're giving away a Booyah stick. Booyah! And you can also go to Facebook. Am I supposed to hit you? No, no, no. Oh, we're done. Go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page top to the contest. Page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Or you can just fast forward if you have to. That's right. Fast forward. Or we have podcasts out now. You do not have to look at us. And we have some really uh, good people that we're talking That's to. An authors, advantage. Authors and PhDs and the whole works. Smart people. That's right. So AC joint. A chromial clavicular, it's a mouthful, but what it is, it's, it's right here in the top of your shoulder. I've worked with patients and myself. I've dislocated both of mine uh, back when I was a little more active and silly. But one way or another, they're very painful, and there's some things you need to know to make it heal faster, to make it less painful, and have a more functional joint when you're all done. So, uh, Bob, should we carry on? Sure. All right. How are we going to test well, that? Well, why don't you first show again? Okay. We'll show right where it is, Brad. Yep. So here we're looking at the collarbone or the clavicle. Right. And the clavicle meets the scapula or the shoulder blade right here. So we're talking right here. It's kind and of more in front. This is process. A chromian. Yeah, chromian. It's just a chromian. Yeah, the chromian. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too technical, Bob. Right. I'm, getting okay. I'm getting confused. But where those joints or two bones meet, there's a joint there, and it's got you know, ligaments holding it together. And if you sprain this or tear those ligaments, it makes an unstable joint and it makes movement uncomfortable with your shoulder. And it needs to heal. It needs to scar down. And it typically will without a problem, without surgery. Well, the, the, this joint actually, this bone actually moves. When, when you actually lift your arm, this bone is rotating. Right. It's not a lot of movement, no. but there's definitely but movement put needed. put a needle into it, they actually could see it moving. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Test. Uh, but if you do injure it, uh, it's painful. Now, yes. typically what happens is you fall on the point of your shoulder, if you will, uh, either the clavicle yeah. fractures, which I've had that happen as well, or dislocates at that, that point. That happened to my son. Fell right on his side and, yep. and broke the... Collarbone. So you'll get x-rays. You should go in, get x-rays, confirm if you have a fracture or not. Because uh, it could be a hairline fracture. You won't even see it. That's what I had. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Well, he called it a green stick, a little more in hairline. Oh, that's more than But big. we're, we're yeah. getting technical. Uh, so if it is the AC joint, it's not a fracture. Uh, we want to stabilize this to get the scar tissue to heal down in the right position. Because this bone can, if the ligaments are tore, can slide up over the top, and it's very painful, and I had that happen. Or, or can slide forward, yep. and either way, it usually slides up a bit. Yeah, and it's very painful. You don't want that to happen. You get it in position, and sometimes they'll give you, I'm wearing this for a reason, uh, I call it a figure eight. This is actually a posture strap, but this would work in a pinch, uh, and it just helps hold your shoulders right. back so you keep it in position. There's no casting that I'm aware of for this particular Brad, injury. what is the test that you might do to, to determine whether uh, you have an AC problem? Good point. Uh, you could just feel over it and point, right. push on it. Point tenderness is going to be painful. So you follow along your collarbone yep. all the way to the end and push right there at the joint, Yep. and that will be sore. Yep. The next thing you can do is... I put one hand here, I'm going to bend Sam forward, the other hand here, and then you squeeze and you put pressure on that joint. Obviously, you can't do this to yourself. Yeah, sometimes um, it's But that's you. what a therapist or a doctor oftentimes will do to test the stability of that joint. It's very painful, 
if it's positive. Um, I think, uh, isn't this one of the tests, Brad, just to cross over like this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this this will hurt. Yeah, yeah, that's no fun. You can feel the, that joint sublux or actually separate, and you do not want to do that. Right. It's very easy because it hurts like hell. Yeah. Oops. Family show. Family show. Yep, 20 push-ups after the no, video. Got to give you a whack with the booyah. No, Bob, not the <laughs> booyah. All right. Healing time for this is going to take four to six weeks, so it does not happen fast. Uh, it can be painful if you don't behave. Uh, we want to talk about um, sleeping. To, oh, sleeping. Sure. Yep. Because uh, one of the things that will happen to you probably is while you sleep, if you roll over on that Let's shoulder. Say it's my right shoulder. Yep. If, if I go right onto it like this, oh my God, that's the worst thing you can do for it. It wakes you up in a hurry. Yep. In a big hurry, yeah. You might holler, scream, say bad words so, out of your sleep. Uh, ideally, you want to sleep on your back. Right. When you're on your back, even, it's going to be a lot more comfortable to have your arm supported like this, Brad. You'll need two pillows, two pillows one for your yeah. head, one or there. Or if you're on your side, now let's pretend it's this one for me. Yep. You might use one or two pillows for that way. You actually put one here in the under the elbow, on the elbow and the... Armpit? Yeah, armpit. Mm -hmm. And then put another one right under, over the top of that. All right, so you need three pillows, two for yeah. the painful arm and one for your head. That's right. Uh, but oh, what I did, I'm fairly comfortable on my back, and I just slept on my back. And I, I did have a pillow on one side, so it reminded me not to roll. Sure. Because uh, the pain was <laughs> enough after a couple of times. But I, I did the pillow just to make sure. Uh, once you can start moving, and after a couple of weeks, you'll you'll feel, oh, it doesn't hurt so much. And you can kind of go over this way and gently do that. Don't you do cross fiber massage? That, that would point? be a, probably a good time to do it sure. now. The cross friction massage? <laughs> cross fiber or cross, cross fi friction massage? Yeah. yeah. So this one, I'm going to get this out of the way. So we're the joint is, things are starting to heal now. Again, it seems to me that what works really well bad is to follow along the sure. collarbone yep. until you feel the tender spot. Sure. And that's Did right you say that already? Yeah, I know, but I was <laughs> going to show where to do this massage. I know, I'm just... <laughs> what is it? So go along rib the you. collarbone. <laughs> it's not a rib. And, and you're actually going to go across the fibers of the joint. Right. And that, that's exactly what we're doing. You may want to double up your fingers. You get to do this till your fingers get sore. Now, if it's really painful at first, but within like 20, 30 seconds, it feels clearly better or kind of numbish, keep doing it till your fingers get sore. If, however, you do it and it just keeps getting worse, it's not ready for Mine's it. Mine's a little sore right now. Is it? Maybe you fell on yours last night. Well, you know, this is under a lot of stress with push-ups. Oh, sure. And also mm -hmm. with bench press. Yep. So you often get pain from uh, those type of activities if you do a lot, do them a lot. I do a lot of push-ups. Yeah, yeah, it does stress that area. Uh, getting back to the rehab part, let's say you know you do your cross friction massages. That can make a, a pretty big difference in itself. Yes, it uh, and, and it's time to start moving it again. And to start out with, I would take my if this was my injured one, my good hand, and help out. And I would go up and stretch, 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 and go back down. Go and up. Pain allows. Yep. And you know, you can get a little pain with it, yeah, but you can bump into the pain, but yeah. don't take go into the pain cave. Yeah, no sharp pain at all. Otherwise, you're just going to tear that scar tissue again, and it's going to make things uh, go longer than you anticipate for the healing process. And then I'd also go across this way. This uh, way, you got to be careful. With that one because yep. it, it can make it feel worse. Yep. So gently this way, and you know, five to ten repetitions to start with. Uh, going backwards as well, I would probably use a cane or a stick and work this. So this is a yeah, sore one. Paddling. Ten repetitions of gentle stretching. And you'll see day by day, it's like, oh, wow, I can get back all the way now. And once you can start to go all the way up to here with help, then it's time to start doing it without any help and just see sure. if you can get the same resistance. It's feeling pretty good. Then it's time to add resistance you know, I like to use bands with this. I think right. it's a lot better than using a weight. But you could use a dumbbell. That's fine. Uh, therapists are really accustomed to bands because they work better. But you don't have to have them. If you've got dumbbells, go ahead and use them. Uh, so I'm going to start with some resistance. Straight up like this. And up and across. And actually, 
what I would probably do here. Let's go for a lower level. Yeah, I'm actually going to focus on that. I'm going to lay down and do it with resistance. And this is nice because you can really relax doing this. So, uh, you know, mm -hmm. this is what we call this not conventional. But I think I, I do a lot of my banding laying down. There you not go. a lot, but, uh, you know, enough to make it uh, sure. very useful and handy. Um, then by that time when you can do those with resistance, 10 repetitions, and you start to need more, rep, uh, more resistance, then things like push-ups, you can start sure. doing those as pain allows. Probably push-ups on your knees, you start yeah. with a knee push-up, uh, or I on, think a, I started on, on a wall a, yep, or a, a cupboard. Yeah. By, you know, you might start on the wall. Sure. And if that, once that gets too easy, you do 10 to 20 of them. Then we go to here. Always let pain be your guide. Yep. Um, because yep. If, you, if you do that, you're, you're unlikely to get in trouble. Right. Anyway. Yep. So. Oh, I do want to say one more thing. How are we doing on time here, Bob? We're doing fine. I don't want to bore people to death, but I really like to add these. Scapular oh, yeah. retraction. Yeah, this actually puts the shoulder in a good position. Yeah, the collarbone in a good position, and it's great for posture. Yeah. So, this I would probably emphasize this one really. Sure. You know, and then turn around and make sure you do the yep. the opposite motion. What do we call that again? Well, you antagonistic. Call oh, sure. The antagonist, and of course, it's the antagonist. And do both of them. Make sure just only one because you want to make sure you strengthen both sides. Of that uh, when area. He's strengthening this way, he's actually strengthening the pec major, which attaches right into the clavicle or yep. the collarbone. Exactly, so exactly. It's a good one to do. So, good luck with that sore collarbone. It's uh, one of those that can really be painful, but work with it, follow this procedure, and it's definitely going to heal you right up in a quick hurry. I'm saying, I'm saying that I know from personal experience, yeah. Bob. So, and once again, Bob. That was many years ago, right? Well, I was in my 30s. <laughs> That's hard to believe that it was a long time ago. Yeah, no in kidding. It doesn't seem that long ago. Yeah, but anyway, can fix about anything. Except for. Broken heart. There you go. But we're working on that, and this has got nothing to do with it. So yeah. we'll skip today. Peace. <laughs>